friends and thanks for joining me again. And today I have a whole table full of stuff you can't see here, uh, just below the camera here, of the things that I got for my kids. A little while ago I did a video on how to have, you know, a frugal holiday and I gave some tips on how to do, you know, some frugal gift giving and whatnot. So I just wanted to maybe do a quick haul video to show you how that actually played out for us. And I also have talked recently about um, some Black Friday shopping and how we kind of plan to do a lot of that for our kids and Cyber Monday deals and things like that. And so I just wanted to show you what that kind of looked like in our real life sense. I don't usually do haul videos. I'm not usually a big fan of doing them, but I thought maybe this time I would because recently I've been seeing quite a few pop up on YouTube and the thing that made me the most nervous to do the haul video is because sometimes people have a larger budget, sometimes people have a smaller budget. I was afraid people were going to be judgy and kind of like, well, we don't spend that much, you know, like the amount that we spend is a lot. <laughs> or people will be like, oh, well, you know, you're kind of a cheapskate. When I probably say this first. <laughs> The thing with having multiple children is, and I'm sure a lot of you out there that have more than one child understand this, if you don't get things sort of that are equals or in pairs, uh, your children freak out, especially when they're younger. So if you were to get two smaller gifts for one child and then a bigger gift for the other, even though it's the same dollar-wise, the child that gets two gifts might be jealous of the one that gets one bigger gift because they wanted a bigger gift. Or the child that only gets one gift is going to be jealous of the one that gets two because they only have one and the other has two. And it just doesn't work. So when we buy our kids things, we learned a long time ago that we have to buy them things in pairs so that it sort of makes things even and then one child doesn't get jealous over the other. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So, the things that we got for our kids. I have a price sheet here, so I'm going to try and follow along with that. Probably going from the least exciting up to the largest. So I got some socks for my kids. Um, I did mention in that video, if you do get needs, items that are a need, uh, it's nicer to get things that are on higher quality or something a little better than they would normally get. And the cool thing about Black Friday shopping, especially at Walmart, is that they have high quality stuff for fairly cheap. So as you can see, these socks are pretty colorful. Maybe these ones are more so than the others, <laughs> but they're very nice. These ones have a really nice texture to them. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so they're very nice. These ones have sparkles, and so the brightly colored ones for my younger daughter, that fits her personality better, and the more muted ones for my older daughter. And they were only $3 each, so pretty good price for seven pairs of socks there. The next thing would be some two packs of leggings. Walmart had these on Black Friday sale for $4.75 for a two pack. So very good deal. Both of them have a black pair in the back and then a colored pair in the front. I thought they would really like these. And my kids outgrew theirs from last year, so I thought they could really use these. Some sleep pants. These are sort of uh, like a pajama style pant. They are kind of a soft and fuzzy um, material. They're very warm and we live in a cold area so this sort of thing is helpful to them. We homeschool and so they can kind of hang out and wear some comfy pants while they're doing that anyway. So thought they would like those. Got some little track suits. Walmart had a really good deal on these as well. So I got two of these actually. Purple and pink for my kids. Uh, older, younger daughter. And then blue and green. Um, I think younger, older, on this one but I'm not entirely sure uh, but those were a really good deal those were $8.50 and they come with both a hooded jacket and a pair of pants so that's a pretty good deal for a two-piece thing for $8.50 definitely the next thing I got for them was some gloves I usually buy for them the cheap you know kind of like stretchy ones that don't really have any kind of like waterproofing to them at all and they're not very practical when it comes to having grip because they're really slippery and they're not very practical when it comes to getting wet or making like snowballs balls or you know sledding and stuff like that because they get wet really easily and then your hands are colder than if you didn't even have the gloves but my kids are kids and so they lose things really easily uh, so I usually buy them the cheap ones because I know they're probably going to lose or ruin them anyway so this year I decided maybe they're a little older, we could give them these bigger ones a go and I'll make sure when I give these to them to be like, hey look, they have hooks, we should hook them together so they can't get lost and separated. Make sure you keep you know, care of these because they were a lot more expensive than usual. I got these for $9 and this is just a regular Walmart price. I got these for them because they need something like this. They don't have any gloves that fit them anymore and all of the ones again we have are the cheap, you know, crappy kind. So. 
I bought them some nicer gloves. Again, sticking with things they need, but going with a nicer thing than they would normally get. Uh, let's see, a big pack of color pencils. I got this one from Amazon on a Cyber Week lightning deal. They have had color pencils in the past, obviously, but I usually buy them just the smaller packages of like 24, maybe 36 at the very most. And my older daughter especially is really starting to get into artsy stuff more. And so I wanted to encourage that. I was thinking maybe something like a paint set or whatever as I was kind of browsing through Amazon. And when these popped up for fairly inexpensive, I was really excited about it because these aren't as messy as paints. <laughs> but they're actually a really big pack with like tons and tons and tons of colors. Uh, hopefully you can see this without the glare, but they have some really cool like metallics that they've never had before. So I'm really excited to give these to them. This is a one gift that they're going to share. So a shared gift. This is one of two gifts that we got them that they do have to share. So books. Uh, I really like giving my kids books. The Hank the Cow Dog book, which uh, if your kids are of age to read Hank the Cow Dog, something like 7 to 12, maybe 13. Uh, these are some of the funniest books out there. We discovered these from the library and they are so funny. She loves to read these to me. Just She likes to sit and read out loud while I'm cooking dinner. And I like to read, you know, have her read them to me anyway. I'm not really doing anything. So it's nice quality time we spend together. And yeah, they're super funny. So we're both constantly laughing. And then How to Draw the Animal book is for the younger daughter. She likes busy work like this, you know, things like activity books and things like that. And so I thought these would both fit both of them. However, they'll probably both use both of these. I know the younger daughter is obviously going to read this one too. So they're kind of shared gifts too, but I'm also giving them, you know, each individually to each child. And then the last thing we got them was the biggest thing, and it is a giant swing. I got just this thing because it's way too big to show on camera. Uh, it's 40 inches, uh, 40 inch round swing, and as you can see from the picture, it easily fits two children. 40 inches is also a meter, a whole meter. Uh, so yeah, it's a big swing. I have been watching these since last year, just to see how much they were, who has the best price on these, that sort of thing. And I've noticed that they go for about um, 80 to 110, $120, depending on where you get them from. And when I saw this at the Sam's Club for $49.88, I was really excited um, to get this because it was way cheaper. And so, yeah, I got this for them, um, the one and only outdoor toy we got for them. And again, it was the biggest thing. So this is the second shared gift that they get. Um, so when you add up all of that, uh, all of the clothes, everything else, uh, we came to a total of $149.38 with taxes, shipping, everything. Um, so I mentioned in the video about how to get frugal gifts or to frugal holiday shop that we also spend a lot of our budget on Black Friday shopping, but also we have a certain amount budgeted for items for our home as well. So we usually spend about 300, 350, somewhere in that range for things for not only our kids and their gifts, but also for our home. And with coming in at 150 basically for our kids, that leaves us another 200 for the home stuff. So if you would like to know just a quick rundown of the things that we bought, I'll go through that really quickly too. So we bought a second set of glass Tupperware. My husband uses it all the time when he goes to work and we're constantly running out of it when it comes to like leftovers we're putting in the fridge and then his lunch. And so we decided since nobody likes the old <laughs> kind of gross, it's gotten kind of bad uh, plastic Tupperware, that we wanted to buy a second set of this glass Tupperware so we could replace all of that plastic with the much nicer glass. So we bought that and I was really excited with it because it was different than the set last year. Last year, the set from Walmart came with two kind of bigger casserole dishes, kind of a medium large and a large, but then it came with lots of smaller bowls, which wasn't very helpful to us. This year, they changed it up. They reduced how many smaller bowls there were, and then they added two really big bowls, like really big, something that would be totally helpful for like keeping a large amount of leftovers from a soup or a stew or something like that. And then they changed up the casserole dishes in that they had a medium, um, and then a medium small. So now with the set from last year, plus the set with this year, it's like super complete. So I'm really excited that that worked out. We've gotten rid of all of our plastic Tupperware. We're going with much healthier and easier to use glass. And so glad we did that. Uh, a family picture frame for $5.88. Uh, we didn't have any pictures of our family on the wall. I noticed when people come over, you know, when we go over to other people's houses, they always have like family pictures on the walls and we didn't have any of that. So I thought that would be fun to put some of our 
old family pictures on the wall. Uh, let's see, I got an Instant Pot. I had this as a suggestion from one of you guys, my YouTube friends. Uh, when I did my live video, I mentioned that I'm really not all that great at cooking, and so someone said, hey, you need to get an Instant Pot, and I looked into it, and I kind of put that on my Black Friday wish list, and sure enough, Walmart had a nice six quart one for $58. I mean, the cheapest price Amazon had, even on their Cyber Monday deals, was 80 and they go for more than that typically, usually. So, I was really excited to see that for that price, and I've been playing with it, and we've been having a blast making all sorts of stuff that I wouldn't normally make. You know, thank you for the suggestion, whoever that was that said that. Uh, we got some new dish towels. I think it was a set of six for $1.60. Thank you, Walmart. Good old Black Friday deals. Oh, and by the way, everything I've listed so far was a Black Friday deal. I got myself some bras. Typically, I get my bras on Black Friday because they have a couple of them uh, for like $10 or somewhere in that range. And so I just kind of make what I have last for a year, and then I add two new ones and kind of use the older ones. But this year, I found that like all of them were no longer functioning as they usually do. So I got four of them. They had some nice ones too. They were $4.50 and I've been really liking them. So big upgrade there. And that's again one of those items where I mentioned in my video that there are certain Black Friday things that I wait all year to buy and that is one of them. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, we got a luggage set, a five piece luggage set for $49. So it had like a really big one, sort of a big medium, a medium kind of small, and then a small kind of like hand bag and then a small small like what would you call it like a hygiene kit or something like that so those were the five pieces and all for f like not even 50 bucks at Walmart for the Black Friday deal this thing alone I mean I was comparing to other five piece luggage sets and they start at like 150 180 bucks so this was a smoking deal really excited and we are hoping to take a family vacation this um, maybe next year I'll talk more about that when I talk about our next year's goals video which will probably come out next week um, so that's why we got that is because we've never taken a family vacation and we're kind of hoping to here sometime uh, let's see I got my husband some sleep pants and a sweatshirt he wanted a sound bar uh, it's kind of a thing that goes in front of your TV that has better sound than the TV that we have has. And so that was another thing, you know, he's been wanting for a while. And I told him, hey, let's just wait until Black Friday because we'll get a better deal. And so it was $29. It's usually $48. So that was a pretty good deal there, too. So when you add all of this up, it adds up to $198.48. So we had in mind that it would be like $150 for the kids, $200 for these home and other things that we've kind of been putting off getting. And so when you add all of that up, it's $347.86. Again, we had a budget of about $350, so we came in just under, which is great. And when I added up a couple of weeks ago, I kind of like went through all of the regular prices. We got about $650 worth of things for $350. And the main reason was because of Black Friday shopping and Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, I guess Amazon calls it now. That's why I'm such a fan of the Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping because it makes such a big difference when it comes to our budget. So there you go, friends. That was my sort of holiday gift haul, all the things I got for my kids, all of the things that we got for our home, and how we all stayed in budget under that $350 budget for all of it. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. The tips really do work. Um, you know, sticking to a list, finding the things that they really need, and then finding the best deals and sales, and then doing all that shopping sort of all at once to get all of the things done, and then now I don't have to buy a single thing more, so really happy about that. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful to you. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.